Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, checking in on Apple. So a big bearish day today with the markets highlighting Apple as a bearish entry opportunity first thing this morning on live webcam. And that was because we had the upper Bollinger Band resistance at that time at 106.09. The high of yesterday was 106.15. So we topped out at 106.07 and right then and there I was saying, if you enter a bearish position on Apple, you put your stop loss if 106.15 breaks. Very little risk. This is what I call a top fishing play. And the reward is that you nail the top and see a big move to the downside. So the odds are that you will get stopped out more often than not. But when the play works out, you can certainly make up a big time profit. And let's say you make one out of every four top fishing plays successful. The profit of that one success is going to outweigh the losses of those three because your, your stop loss is right below or above some key resistance. So right above key resistance in this case. So we had that as a bearish entry opportunity, those calls, the weekly or the puts, the weekly puts were up about 160% today. So that was a nice short-term trade opportunity. Not too much of a lower wick here. The bulls didn't buy the dip as much as you see in other stocks. If you look at Tesla or Netflix, they have long lower wick showing bulls buying the dip. Not the case here. So we bounced off 104 psychological and it's really the weekly 50 week moving average resistance that we bounced off of by two pennies at 103.97. So that's currently support. We have three trading days left in the week. This is a bearish reversal gravestone doji forming, but we're going to be watching very closely how the price reacts to 103.97. If we close below it, we will be looking for further pullback in Apple in the coming weeks. So 104 support, 103.68, 102.89, the 200 day. And if 102.75 breaks, it's a red flag for the short term bulls as we'll see some of this gap filling. So resistance is going to be up in the 106s, the low 106s, the high of the past two days, and the upper Bollinger Band resistance will be up there as well. So watching the next couple of days very closely, and in my opinion, what the market does is going to dictate what Apple does. So we'll certainly be on top of it, checking back in each day. I appreciate you watching. See you tomorrow.